He's literally just on my lap. Like, what's up, everybody? Oh, in today's video, we're gonna do a paint your pet, kind of like Bob Ross style. Oh. I've been painting for as long as I can remember. I don't paint as much as I would like to anymore, but I'm trying to get back into it. I, I have been getting back into it. A few months ago, my friends and I did a paint night that was hosted by Yay Maker. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check them out. Um, but they did an awesome paint night where it was like a paint your pet style. So what you did was you sent in a photo of your pet and they kind of traced it onto a canvas for you. This was the picture that I had sent in of my puppy chaos and this was the final result. Not bad. Now, I have to say, I went into this with lots of painting experience. Not everybody did. I think when you do something like a paint night sort of thing, it's supposed to be really fun. I just think that when you get 30 people in a room that are really, you know, serious about trying to do their best work to paint their pet that they love so much. It just doesn't work. You can't individually teach 30 people who don't know how to paint, how to paint their pet. People were frustrated. This class was a little bit advanced for your average painter who is just there to, you know, drink wine and be social and walk out of there with a bomb painting. No, that wasn't the reality. People take painting their pets really seriously and you can't expect to make a beautiful painting in like two hours, you can't. So I'm gonna kind of do my version of this paint your pet portrait, paint your pet. But I'm gonna kind of follow the same guidelines that they gave me just so that the pictures end up kind of looking the same. So your first step is you're gonna wanna find a pet. The next thing you're gonna do is to try and take a picture of them head on like this, or you can take a video of them like I did and just take a screenshot when you get them in a really cute position. The next steps are a little bit tricky. You're gonna wanna get a piece of paper and blow that photo up on a laptop or some sort of screen in a dark room that you can lightly, lightly trace. So you get something that looks like this. You see that? Good job. Next, you're gonna wanna do the very opposite thing Get your blank canvas. I paid $4 for this at the dollar store, but when Thanos was a puppy, he actually chewed this one. All I did was I taped this already traced picture to the back of my canvas. You're gonna wanna make sure you tuck it as low down as you can so that it doesn't move. When you're done tracing it on the laptop or screen, make sure that you go over it and make your lines dark enough so that you can see it on the other side of the canvas when you go to do the next step. So basically you're gonna wanna tape the picture onto the back of the canvas and then put it up against a window so the light shines through and then you can trace it lightly again onto your canvas. That part's a real bitch, so if you plan on doing multiple pet portraits, make sure you do each step consecutively at the same time or else you won't want to go back and do it all over again, trust me. It's a real pain. Okay, so I know you can only vaguely see the lines on this canvas, but once I start, it'll start coming together. So basically, what you're gonna need some sort of palette. I'm just gonna use a paper plate. A cup you don't care about that's filled with water. You're gonna need paint. Your three primary colors. I didn't have a lot of yellow. Black and white. And you're gonna need brushes. 
small, medium, and large. Obviously small for fine detail, large for really slapping on some color there, and then medium for some other different techniques that we'll go over once we start. So first step is to pick your background color, which is a really fun step. Most of my home decor is gray and white and cream and beige and all those lovely colors. So I'm gonna go with a gray color. I kinda wanna put another one here so you can kind of see the difference. I kind of like this setup. Go me. Now keep in mind that paint dries darker than what it is when it's wet. Well, that's pretty much the same color. Mixing colors is also half the fun, but not when you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna explain as we go, kind of how to make colors. And we're just gonna have some fun with it. Okay, so I've got, I think, a nice light gray color here. Holy smokes. And you wanna be very generous with this all over your background. Don't forget to paint your edges. It drives me crazy when people don't paint the edges. Actually, I'm not even sure 100% of these edges are painted. I think they were wet. Yeah, see? Drives me crazy. So even if you pick like a green background or a blue background or something like that, mix a little bit of white off to the side, like this. You're gonna just wanna dip into that white and kinda create like a little bit of a halo effect. You know, I feel like I learned a lot of my blending skills with makeup through painting. to do is get your photo of your pet and make sure you have it in your line of sight so you can really look back at your painting in your photo and your painting in your photo. I'll kind of leave it like this so I can show you what I'm talking about when I pick out certain colors and I'll explain how to make them when we get there. So they explained that your next step was to pick the color that your pet is most made up of. So I looked at my black and white border collie and I didn't really know where to start because he's half black and half white. So I asked the lady that was hosting the paint night and she said I should work from the darkest color to the lightest color, which is completely backwards from how I was used to doing things. But I'm gonna continue to do it that way, A, because I found it worked really well, and B, because I want them to both be very similar. So for Thanos, he's actually made up of three colors. He's a tri-color border collie, but I'm still gonna go with black first and kind of go black, brown, white. So you're gonna wanna take more of like a medium sized brush for this part. Something that kinda looks like this. Now the key with painting black pets is to start with a dark gray and kind of layer on the black as you get going. So right now what we're gonna do is make a dark gray color. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fill in all the black bits. The most important part of this step, I guess, is to make sure that you've got all your background kind of covered. this 
and you're working with two different colors that are still wet, you work one way with the light color and the other way with the dark color so that you don't end up mixing the two. So when I am taking my lighter gray, I'm gonna push it up into the darker gray. And then when I go to clean up those lines, I'm gonna do the exact opposite with the dark one. to this dark gray color we have here, just so I can differentiate this black that he has around his eyes from this black that he has in his ears, just to make it a little bit easier on myself when it comes to the shading. get white and put just like a dab of black into it to make like a really light gray. You can also put a little bit of like yellow in with it too. If you find your pet's coat has a little bit more of a yellow tone to it, or just depending on how the picture looks, maybe it's it has more of a yellow cast to it. You just kind of have to play around a little bit. If your paint's a little thick, feel free to add some water to it. it just helps move the paint a little bit. All right, now we fill it in. So for this bottom part right here, I'm actually kind of going to be almost done this part. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of detailing. I'm just going to lightly feather my brush to just make little baby hair strokes. I'll zoom in so you can see. that's under his bandana. So you're gonna wanna make the white that's underneath just a little bit darker. Because this paint is still wet, I'm actually gonna be able to just smudge that in. We're just gonna wait for that to kind of dry like that and we're gonna layer on the other white over top. Definitely want to cover your pencil lines, but don't worry about like if you accidentally cover them because you want them covered anyway. this like medium gray color and kind of bring it up his cheek a little bit to just make that definition. pretty much all white and we're gonna go in and 
feather over top of this shadowy part here. Keep in mind, we might have to go over this again once we do the bandana. a little bit of black and a lot of red to first kind of make your brown and then put a little bit of yellow in it to bring it back to that tan color orange it up a little see how it's starting to be that like brownie tan color that's what we want I'm gonna have a little bit of white off to the side just because this might be a little bit too vibrant Okay, so I'm just gonna put the first layer on and I'm gonna work kind of backwards, to be honest. Try to plop the light color down and then darken it up a little bit. Again, do not worry about being sloppy with this because you can always go over it and layer and layer. like a paint by number. After that, wash your brush. Now we're gonna go back in with the black and cover some of that up. This is gonna be like pretty much pure black. You can add a little bit of white to it if you want to keep, kind of keep layering, I'm going to, but really this is gonna be kind of your final touches with the black to really cover up any little mistakes or to really layer on that fur. what I'm doing as I go because I don't ever do that. <laughs> plates and we're going to make this nice pink color so obviously you know we need red and white so we're going to try and aim for this nice pinky color here this bubblegum kind of pink keep in mind i'm also trying to match this painting to this painting so if your colors are a little different than mine don't don't worry about it also have your blue off to the side because in order to make a little bit of shadowing with the pink you want to make more of like a muted violet rather than adding black to it. That just makes kind of a yucky brown color. Okay, tongue time. So you can see where the light is hitting my tongue. That's where the lighter pink is gonna go. And then I'm gonna do some shading in here and kind of shade where that tooth is sitting under the tongue there as well. Basically, just have your palette wide open to make some lighter and darker pinks and play around with that. So 
color and then washing off my brush and then using my brush to blend that color in with the rest. from his cheeks. And what you wanna do is feel free, get another plate. We all know nobody's teeth are white, white. Okay, you gotta do the bad thing. I turn all those lights on? It's okay. I mixed up two teeth colors here because I need some for the molars and some for the front ones. One second. You can do this by cleaning your brush off or get a brand new brush. Paint doesn't scare me as much as it would like to. Happen. There we go. Define that too. Now remember, you can always go over these teeth after. I know they look kind of white right now in the monitor, but just to make them glisten a little bit. from the mouth area and go straight for the schnoz. Boop, boop. All right, and again, we're gonna start with a darkish gray. Cover most of the area for the nose first. And then we'll do the highlighting and shading. putting the nose on.
so now we're going to dial this demonic dog down a little bit and work on the eyes. For his actual eye color, we're going to make this kind of burnt orange color. Our red and our yellow. highlighting with some white just for the specks where the light hits the eyeball. This is the final product and I think it turned out pretty good considering I was trying to match it to this one because I mean they were done months and months apart so I'm pretty proud of myself honestly. If you painted any of your pets feel free to send me a picture let me know how it went. Let's show Thanos and see what he thinks. Thanos what do you think? 
Do you like it? That's you! Yeah. Bye everybody! Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos.